So how will our world look like by the end of 21st century? Will it look like this? Or will it look like this? It all depends on how much the global temperatures will increase because of human influence. If we stay below 2 degrees Celsius, we have a fighting chance of having a living planet. If we exceed this and say reach 3 degrees Celsius temperature increase, the world will become unlivable. Now the Paris Agreement signed in 2015 clearly says that the temperature must in no way exceed 2 degrees Celsius and countries must work towards keeping global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. Can the world meet this goal? Especially in a scenario where United States, which is historically the largest climate polluter, has pulled out of the Paris Agreement. And its president, Mr. Donald Trump, is legislating anti-climate and pro-fossil fuel policies, which will see huge increase in greenhouse gas emissions in the US. This is indeed a scary situation. A polluting United States means bad news to the world and more so to India and other developing countries simply because a vast majority of people are poor in our part of the world and they are vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. How will these people who depend on their environment for their growth and development cope with a warmer world? The fact is, even without Trump playing the role of an evil doctor, we know that the planet's temperature has increased by nearly a degree uh, in 2016 compared to the pre-industrial levels. But what about temperature increases in India? I and my colleagues from Center for Science and Environment New Delhi have analyzed temperature data from 1901 till 2017. We analyzed annual mean temperature data as well as seasonal temperature averages for the past 117 years for India. To find how the temperature has increased over a century, we calculated temperature anomaly using a baseline period. The baseline that we have used is the mean temperature for a 30 years period from 1901 to 1930. The temperature of each year was then compared with this baseline to calculate the temperature anomaly. Now this is how India's annual mean temperature has increased in the past 117 years. One can see that in 2016, the temperature was 1.2 degrees higher than the baseline. Now, if I convert this spiral into a line graph, you can clearly see that the temperature in 1995 was 1.29 degrees higher than the baseline. So 1995 was the warmest year on record in India, whereas 2016 is the second warmest year on record. 1995 seems to be the kickoff point. Before 1995, the temperature anomaly was below 1 degree Celsius. After 1995, the temperature has breached the 1 degree barrier. While I have showed you the annual increase uh, for India, we have also done a seasonal anomaly chart for India. Seasons in India is divided in four parts. Uh, we have winters in January and February. We have pre-monsoon season, which we also call as summers which is March to May. We have monsoon season, which is June to September. And we have post monsoon season, which is October to December. Now, let me show you what the temperature increase in these four seasons look like uh, on a spiral. Now, you notice carefully, the seasonal increase in temperature actually looks much more dangerous than the annual increase uh, in temperature. In the three seasons, winter, pre-monsoon and post-monsoon, the temperature in India has already increased by more than 1.5 degrees over the baseline of 1901 to 1930. But if you look at just the winter month of January and February, the temperature anomaly is actually more than 2 degrees. In fact, in 2017, uh, the temperature anomaly in winters uh, was 2.95 degrees. It is only during the monsoon month when the temperature increase is about 1 degree Celsius. So in 3 out of 4 seasons or 
nine months in a year, the temperature in India have breached the aspirational goal of 1.5 degrees set in the Paris Agreement. This is becoming dangerous much sooner than anticipated. So what are the implications? The fact is, the mean annual temperature in India has increased by about 1.2 degrees over the past 100 years. We have still not breached the 1.5 degree Celsius limit. Yet, India is experiencing the devastating impacts of climate change. The intensity and frequency of extreme weather events have increased significantly. Large parts of India is experiencing the impacts of floods, droughts and heat waves. This is when, as I said earlier, the temperature has just increased by about 1.2 degrees Celsius. What will happen at 1.5 degrees Celsius? What will happen when temperature increase will be about 2 degrees Celsius? Well, these impacts are difficult to predict. Let's hope that we do not breach the 2 degrees target. Let's hope that the world can come together, can work together to make sure that everyone reduces their greenhouse gases and we are able to contain temperature rise to less than 2 degrees centigrade.